Hey, it's the software engineering student here, and today we're going to be doing a tutorial of how to install IntelliJ. So, IntelliJ is the IDE I'll be using in the videos, and I generally think it's the best IDE for Java programming. So, first of all, you can just search for IntelliJ in Google, or I will leave a link down in the description. You'd go here to the jetbrains.com, and we would just download IntelliJ. Depending on your operating system, you can either do Windows, Mac, Linux. I am on a Windows, so I would just do Windows. They got an Ultimate or a Community Edition. For beginners, the Community Edition is more than good enough, so I would just click Download. And it would download down here. And we will just wait a few minutes. There we go. Whenever it's finished downloading, just click on it. And we're going to click yes. Next, this is uh, the, like the simple destination folder. It should be fine for most people. And I would just create a... If you want, you can create a desktop shortcut. It's necessary. Otherwise, just leave all of these unchecked. And it should be fine just downloading JetBrains, which is like the basic system behind. And again, we're just going to let it download. And when it finished downloading, you could just click Run, and we would try to run it. We confirm the policy. We obviously just read of it, read all of it. So, now we got the IntelliJ IDE downloaded, and we got this uh, welcome screen, and we're going to create our first project. So, we do that by clicking New Project. You get this uh, New Project page, and up here you can change between the different versions of Java. Right now, you would probably get a Java 15 installed, otherwise you can just do download an LJDK, and choose between the different uh, versions, and download. But, I'll just keep 15 for now. Click next. It's asking rather than that you create like a pre created template. Let's just skip it for now and create a name and do test 47. So now you get this empty IntelliJ screen. And we would like to look into the file structure, which is over here. And first of all, maybe let's go to settings and appearance and increase the font size a bit because it's a bit small to 14 let's see if that's better it's a bit better and we can increase the font as well let's see if i can find it there we go which is like the, the text and let's create that to fifth oh not 115 just 15. or maybe let's do 20. i like that so now this is everything's a bit bigger. So in the source file, let's go to new, new project, new, and then a Java class. And then we would create a main class, and this is a program. So inside a main, let's do a fast public static void main, which is like the, the running part of Java, and let's just print something to screen. Not that. You can do S O U T and tap, and you get like a predefined uh, printing thing. And we could just do hello world. And we would click run to run this specific part, and we would get hello world. Or we could also just click it up here to run the program. So that's the basic setup of Java, and if you want to change anything, you just go into the, as mentioned before, into the file, settings, and we get everything in here. From the appearance, if you want to change maybe the theme, like I got the dark mode enabled, or whatever, font size, whatever, yeah, there's a search, amazing search function, just search, and you can find everything you want. So, thank you for listening, I hope you got IntelliJ installed, and keep coding.